Hello, beautiful people. Gaijin Giddy Pig here, back doing another Uniqlo collaboration video, which is not to say that this is a collaboration with Uniqlo. I, that would be sick. But as you know, from time to time, Uniqlo will do a graphic tee collaboration with a different like anime series, usually something that's really popular. I've done a few videos in the past checking out different lines where it was Uniqlo with uh, Attack on Titan. It was a Spy Family one. And I am a man of my word. When I am checking out these shirts and I say, oh, that shirt is actually pretty sick. I'm going to buy that. I actually do. For the sake of this video, I'm wearing the Sasageo Attack on Titan Uniqlo t-shirt. Check it out. So if I say I like it and I'm probably going to get it, I'm probably going to get it. So this time, Uniqlo have collaborated with Chainsaw Man. And yes, the gigantic entity, the force of nature that is Chainsaw Man, an anime that I personally love and I can't wait for season two. So I'm actually really stoked to check out the collaboration with Uniqlo. And you also know that I have a love-hate relationship in regards to these collaborations. Sometimes the designs are just awful. Sometimes, every once in a while, you get that diamond in the rough. But there is often a lot of wasted potential. Fingers crossed for this Chainsaw Man one. Before we check out the line, just a friendly reminder to like and subscribe. Come follow me over on Instagram and let's just have a good time together. You know the routine. I'll be up in the corner and I'm going to blow up the uh, Uniqlo page to full size. Okay, so here we are on the Uniqlo Chainsaw Man quote unquote special site. All right, cool little homepage here. I like that artwork already. Cool background sketching. I mean, those little background sketches are, are probably better than anything I could do if I sat down and actually focused with a pad and a pad of paper and a pencil. All right, get to it. Anime Chainsaw Man, Kosuke Kawamura, available online in, in all stores. All right, this is important, people. August 24th. Now, who knows how long these things are going to stay in stock? I, I don't really know if these things fly off the shelves. But my brother has always told me, if you really want something, just get it right away. Don't hesitate because, you know, we live in a time where everything feels like it's limited time only or limited edition. And then you'll have that regret. You're like, man, I should have got it when I had the chance. And now I can't. And now some guy's selling it on eBay for $50, please. All right. So August 24th. Yeah. Mark your calendars. Chainsaw Man. Yep. Designed by Kosuke Kawamura little signature. Also, I'm still a little under the weather. Forgive me if I sound stranger than usual. All right, moving right along. Look at the sketches. Oh, they're vibrate. Oh, they're it's animated. Little white guy. Oh, can we go back to the sketches instead of these models? Artist Kosuke Kawamura designed the UT exclusive Chainsaw Man collection of original art and iconic scenes from the Chainsaw Man anime. This is for all the people that are like, what the hell is Chainsaw Man? Chainsaw Man is a TV anime series produced by MAPPA. We love MAPPA. Just got done watching Jujutsu Kaisen episode four, season two. Cinematic quality. Come on. The story follows a young devil hunter named Dinji who makes a contract with Chainsaw Devil and is reincarnated as Chainsaw Man. That's right. The anime has received much attention and positive feedback since its release. This time we've collaborated with collage artist Kosuke Kawamura to recreate the world of the series in a bold and meticulous way. Enjoy this special collection that brings the world of Chainsaw Man to life. I will say this, Chainsaw Man is one of the few anime that my older brother is really into. He's not like a super hardcore anime guy, but he likes Chainsaw Man and he loves power. But who doesn't love power, right? View more about Kosuke Kawamura, maybe later. No shade. Purchase bonus. Ooh, interesting. Customers who purchase certain Chainsaw Man Kosuke Kawamura UT items will receive a free Chainsaw Man Kosuke Kawamura UT original sticker for a unique AR augmented reality <laughs> experience. First come, first served, while supplies last only. Yet another reason to not really hesitate if you see anything that you like, you know, get your browsers ready on the 24th and credit card. Uh, yeah, that sticker will will fit on my luggage just fine. I have a piece of luggage that I travel with, and I'm just covering the whole thing with stickers. All right, here we go. I'm excited. All products. Dingy. Makima. 
Makima, my personal favorite, by the way. All right, they're teasing the product. Dinji. He is the protagonist of the series, who was a devil hunter living with Pochita, the chainsaw devil. He started working as a devil hunter to clear the debt he inherited from his father. Once he's killed, after being betrayed by the debt collector, he makes a contract with Pochita and becomes the chainsaw man. Number one. A symbolic design featured on the front incorporates exquisite collage artwork by the renowned artist Kosuke Kawamura. It depicts Chainsaw Man at the end of episode three. The graphic is accompanied by a quote from Makima, a devil hunting organization, public safety devil hunters, Tokyo special division for member. Holy crap. That's a run on sentence. Quote, all devils were born with names. The scarier the name is, the more powerful it is. End quote. On the front is an unedited frame, same scene printed on the back. 2490. Now hold on. 2490. That seems a little higher than the typical Uniqlo t shirt. I think most of the time the graphic tees are 1990 or something like that. But fine, 24 is still a good price for a t shirt. My problem has always been the fit, as you know. All right, so it looks like this is a, the best it's going to give us in terms of a close up. But uh keep in mind on this one it does say oversized in parentheses i i bought one shirt one time it was like a peanuts converse collab it, it was oversized and i didn't know it and i put it on and it was whew, it was baggy you've been warned people this is oversized I, that's a sick design i love the artwork i love the the monochrome chainsaw devil Tokyo Special Division 4. Pretty cool. The quote looks like it's right here at the top. Love Dingy. Okay. That's a that's a medium on her. It's it's very baggy. It's it's going below her her bottom, so that's pretty big. There you can see how the sleeves hang. You got the same image on the on the pocket. I like the design. I think it's a solid design front and back like that's that's cool it's super simple but it's it's cool however i don't think i could rock it because it's because of the oversize so for that reason i'm out to quote shark tank not bad though great design number two Ooh, number two looks like we're dealing with a crew sweater the design features Collage artwork by Kosuke Kawamura features two pieces of Chainsaw Man original drawings. The graphic is accompanied by a quote from Makima. Okay, another Makima quote. The same quote, all devils were born with names. The scarier the name, more powerful it is. Okay, on the front is an unedited frame of the same scene, but on the back. Okay, $24.90, same price as a t-shirt. Interesting. This is a long sleeve. Okay, they call it a long sleeve uh, t-shirt. I thought it was a good neck sweater okay that that looks big okay artwork on the back the lower back okay wow she's wearing a medium and that that looks still looks pretty baggy i like how it's a company with the black hoodie that's a cool look i don't like that text on the front tokyo special division four devil hunter that looks looks a little lazy if i'm being honest not a fan of that he, he doesn't look like he's a fan of it either. Like you can see the way that body's cut. It's a wide cut. So keep that in mind if you like this one. Looks like it, it's going to be very spacious. The artwork's good. I mean, obviously, but I'm not a huge fan of this design overall. I don't like the font. Yeah. Sorry, number two. That ain't for me. But if it's for you, hey, enjoy it. Moving right along, number three, the design features, okay, artwork, okay. On the back is a print of Dingy's famous quote, everybody looks down on my goal. Your dreams are all so grand. Why don't we have a battle of dreams? All right, heavy, heavy text. Looks like a navy long sleeve. Yep, I already don't like it. Not because of the actual artwork, but the white makes it look so blown out that it just looks messy. 
instead of defined. So all of that blown out white is not doing the image any favors. Not a fan of that. I do like long sleeves though. Like I need long sleeves, but for, for me, this ain't it. Devil Hunter on the arm. And I really don't like all that text on the back with the image at the bottom. I mean, shrinking the image down like that makes it look even worse in my opinion. I like the color though. Love a, love a navy. Not a fan of number three. All right. Fingers crossed. Oh, now, now we're talking. My lady, my lady. All right, so it looks like the dingy stuff's done. Unfortunately, none of it really spoke to me. The first one was the best for the dingy, in my opinion, but it wasn't like that instinctual, I gotta cop it. Akima, a member of the Devil Hunting Organization, Public Safety Devil Hunters Tokyo Special Division 4. What a title. As well as a devil hunter who serves as a direct report to the Chief Cabinet Secretary. Love her. Love her. Number one, above her graphic is an implicative quote about her mystique. Implicative? Who's using that word lately? Quote, Makima reports directly to the chief cabinet secretary. Ordinary devil hunters aren't authorized to know which devils she has contracts with. Indeed. 2490, uh, again. Keep in mind, folks, this is an oversized T gonna hang bit it's gonna hang baggy on you I do like the artwork mm-hmm that's a medium goodness yeah I think that's pretty sick but maybe that's because I'm a Makima's my bias and it's hard for me not to like anything she's involved with it's not a bad design it's really simple look it even tells you no graphic on the back there it is up close all right off the jump. I like it, but I don't love it. So I probably won't be getting that. Oh, Chita. Look at it. I, I mean, how do you not love that? Look how cute. The Chainsaw Devil who made a contract with Dingy. It's hard. Yeah, that sounds weird to anybody who doesn't follow this stuff, right? An original drawing of Pochita, the Chainsaw Devil who has a contract with Dingy, the protagonist of Chainsaw Man, is prominently featured on the back. Pochita's quote, when he made the contract with Dingy, quote, I'll give you my heart. In exchange, show me your dreams. Hmm. Printed in a unique typography design. On the front is the first episode's title, Dog and Chainsaw, in the series' signature typography style. The theme here is, if it's a t-shirt, it's oversized. I like that. It's a very sketched potita. I just gotta wrap my head around, can I do an oversized shirt? Can I make that work for me? Because I, I like this design. Dog and chainsaw in the pocket there. I like the, I like the pocket typography, yeah. Dog and chainsaw, the chainsaw devil. I do, it's simple, it's clean. Oh, it does cute. This might be a standout for me so far, and it goes against my anti-white t-shirt policy. So, very strong. I'm not like 100% in, gonna cop it, but it's the one I'm leaning closest towards so far. Oh, no they didn't. Okay, so they basically put the same design on a black long sleeve. And I just got done saying, I need more long sleeves. And, I'm not sold on the oversized shirt, so this is it, people. Let's go. Okay, it's not black, it's dark gray. This is it. This is the one for me thus far. The Pochita dark gray long sleeve. Ooh, what's on the arm? Let's see. Okay, looking good, kid. Show me your dreams written on the arm. I like it. It's very, if you know, you know. I like this the best so far. Who'd have thunk it? Little Pochita comes in, grabs my interest. 
there's a closer look at the graphic. Yeah, for $24.90, yes, I would get this. I mean, fall's coming. I mean, perfect. Oh, uh, Queen Bee. Everyone's favorite. Power. She is the Blood Fiend, member of the Devil Hunting Organization. Okay, it says it's layered with an original drawing of her beloved cat, Meowy. And the quote, only cats get along with me. I hate humans. Relatable. Not because they did something to me. It's more like the devil's instinct. Hate devils just as much. That's because they took away my Meowy. All right. Already, I like that the image is in color, but it's just too much text, in my opinion. Like, that's too much. Like, I walk by a guy on the street wearing that, I'm like, I'm not reading that. But I do love the image with the Meowy power overlay. I think that's great. But good lord, that is just too much text. As we've been saying, it is it is a t-shirt, so it is oversized. I kind of like the front. Blood devil, devils don't lie on you. I kind of like that text. If that was all it had, with a picture of her on the back and it said devil hunter, that's it. That would be all I need. But all this, no. Far too busy for me. Mm -mm. Number two with power. The design incorporates multiple original drawings from the anime's third episode, Meowie's Whereabouts. A quote by Power, the blood fiend when the bat devil swallowed her beloved cat is also featured beside the graphic, quote, you said you can't touch Pochita anymore. I understand how you feel now. It's horrible. It looks like a comic panel design, which is quite interesting. A white long sleeve graphic. Again, looks like everything's gonna be 2490. That's cool. Like, like early stage comic panel design. I think that's a cool idea. I think the Tokyo Special Division 4 placement is nice. I think Meowie's whereabouts, that's fine. I don't know that we need the quote, but it's crowded, it's busy, but I just think the layout works better for this than the than the power shirt blood devil on the arm looks like we got a pocket hit if we can get a better look at that yeah again another little sketched out profile of power devil hunter my name is power blood devil this one's good i li like look at that i think that's cool okay this is a this is a top this is a top one for me too yeah, look at that. I like that. The early stages of getting the panels done. I like this one a lot. This is a get. Okay, the Devil Hunters, the key members of the Devil Hunting Organization. Dinji, Power, Aki, Ayakawa, and uh, Makima. Yeah, it's good to see Aki. All right, Devil Hunters t-shirt. Got the four main characters, Chainsaw Man, Denji, uh, Power, Aki, Ayakawa, and Makima. All right, distinctive looks and poses, stylishly depicted with the iconic quote by Kishibe. Quote, the devil hunters that the devil's fear are the one with a few screws loose. I like that quote. Again, it's a t-shirt, so yes, it is oversized, which keeps me out of the running, but maybe some of you watching will be like, hey, that shirt's pretty sick. I mean, this poor guy. Like that looks like he's super tall. That's a large and it still sort of looks like it's swallowing him. I don't like the text on the back at all. It just looks like it looks like an afterthought, like somebody just slapped it on there because they were like, oh, yeah, this the four panels. I want to get a better look at that. Yes, it has sleeves. It has corners. There we go. I love that. I love that artwork. That's that sketch style. Love the artwork, just don't love the, the design. And for those reasons, I'm out. And that looks like it's the last item of this Uniqlo Chainsaw Man collection. Uh, if we go down a little more. Oh, ooh, hi, Pochita. Chainsaw Man. Oh, this is cool animation. 
about Koskia Kaolata, the creative director of UT of the Uniqlo. Kawamoto was born in Hiroshima in 1979. His work as a collage artist has led to various creative projects, from solo exhibitions worldwide to corporate collabs. He became the creative director of UT. Um, Kosuke Kawamoto's voice, the original art and anime drawings are highly finished and detailed, so I expanded my ideas for t-shirt design fabrics and experimented with various collage tastes and techniques. I hope people who have always liked Chainsaw Man will enjoy the different designs, and those unfamiliar with Chainsaw Man will want to try them. So that is the collection in a nutshell. It looks like all the t-shirts are oversized. Again, everything also appears to be $24.90 and they go on sale August 24th. So like me, if you're interested in these collaborations and these limited time drops, my recommendation is to just get it as soon as you can. Don't have any regrets. Don't, don't get any FOMO, fear of missing out, right? You don't want to miss out. I, I'm definitely going to get the white sleeve power, long sleeve. What did you think of this Uniqlo Chainsaw Man collaboration? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Are there any that you're going to definitely pick up or maybe you just think they all suck and that's okay too. I'd like to hear from you. But thank you so much for helping my small channel grow. Thank you for watching this video and I'll catch you in the next one.